Hey, what's up guys? So let's clear up some of the confusions going on right now, guys. Why some of you received your stimulus checks on Friday and most of you did not? Okay, here's what's going on. Some of the financial technology lenders, fintech lenders, such as Chime, NetSpend, and a few more, so they advance that money to you guys. It's an advance. Well, you don't have to pay it back because they all keep the actual stimulus money. So that's what's going on. The actual stimulus checks will start going out next week, starting on the 13th. So what these lenders did yesterday, they advanced some of you guys the stimulus money. Now they want to advance more money to more people. But, so what happens now, they are waiting confirmation from the IRS where, where the people that they already advanced the money to cannot go back on the IRS system and change their banking information. That way, they don't want you to get paid twice because this is an advance and they expect to get their money back when the actual stimulus money comes out. So as soon as they get confirmation from the IRS where if you already have the money, you cannot go back and exchange your information and get paid twice, I'm pretty sure they all advance more money to more of you guys. But the actual stimulus money will start rolling on the 13th, that's next week. And also some of you reported that you only got a couple hundred dollars. It's the same thing going on guys. Some of the banks are not advancing the whole $1,200. They're just doing a couple hundred dollars. It's the same thing. Once you get your stimulus money, you get the difference. And for those of you who only receive $600, that's not the stimulus checks guys. That's the unemployment care act benefits. So your stimulus check is still coming. Look forward to that in the coming week, starting on the 13th of next week. And couple of these guys. Yesterday, the IRS and the Treasury released two updates. First one, yesterday, the IRS released their own portal so you can register your bank account information to get your money. For those of you who already registered with N2 within TurboTax, you do not have to register again with the IRS. That's done. You're done. You don't have to do anything else. So the IRS portal is for those of you who's not required to file a tax return and made less than $12,200 as a single individual or $24,400 as a married couple. The update from the Treasury yesterday is for those of you who already filed your 2018 or 2019 taxes, but did not provide a bank account information. In other words, you got a check or a debit card with your refund on it and the mail. There will be an app for you scheduled to be released next week. I did a video about that already. I will link it on the card. You will need to download this app, register yourself and add your banking information so you can get your stimulus check as soon as possible. I hope this cleared up some of the confusions out there. As always guys, thank you. Thank you again for watching. If this is your first time here, my name is Paul with Sunset Realty and I would love to have you as a subscriber so please subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Have a nice weekend. Thanks. The money that some of you guys received on Friday that wasn't the stimulus checks. Well, it was but it was an advance from... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm recording, man. Yo, yo, yo.